This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey, what do you want me to record for? Just record this whole video. Record the video. Before Russ dropped 11 mixtapes in the span of just three years and pulled in tens of millions of views for music videos like Losing Control, Too Many, Do It Myself, and What They Want. Lighting it up on SoundCloud with over half a million followers and hitting number four on the US rap charts with his debut studio album, There's Really a Wolf. Before he was living the life of a rap star, selling out shows across the US and Europe, inking a deal with Columbia, and getting some, well, some other perks. You know, there was a situation uh, it involved um, two sisters and a jacuzzi. Russ grew up traveling all over the country before finally settling down in Atlanta. From there, he'd team up with his music friends and gradually build up a powerful online following by dropping music relentlessly on SoundCloud, YouTube, and his own website. You're like the king of SoundCloud, bro. Thank you. <laughs> like you I'll got, take that. How many songs do you have on SoundCloud? It's a lot. And yeah, they I, all got... I think like 81. After years of hustling, major record labels would be knocking down his door, and he would soon be opening for the likes of Vince Staples, Waka Flocka Flame, and Wiz Khalifa. What's going on guys, my name is Michael Cretton, hitting you in the face with another Before Their Famous video, documenting the life and career of Russ prior to fame. I've covered other rappers who made it big on SoundCloud, like XXX and Chance the Rapper, but you guys let me know who you want me to see next in the comments down below. Russ has requested a whole bunch, so uh, I look forward to reading your comments. You can also find me on Instagram or Twitter. Twitter. was born Russell Vital on September 26, 1992 in Secaucus, New Jersey. Russ was born with a condition called heterochromia, meaning his eyes have different colors. In Russ's case, both his eyes are brown, but the left one is a much darker brown. Russ's mom was a college graduate, but she didn't do much with her degree. Instead, his father supported the family, but didn't have the same educational background. So just, you know, just taking jobs where he could get them and stuff like that. So we were moving around a lot. Aside from New Jersey, Russ also lived in New York, North Carolina, and Kentucky before finding a more permanent home in Atlanta, Georgia when he was 12 years old. Even prior to that, Russ had shown an interest in hip hop, pinning raps in his notebook from the age of 7. By 14, he was beginning to produce beats and he recorded his first song at 18 years old. Music was in his genes, with Russ's grandfather actually teaching him how to play the guitar. But he grew up listening to his parents' music, which was not exactly hip hop. They had him listening to artists like Earth, Wind & Fire. Billy Joel, The Mamas and the Papas, Bruce Springsteen, and Luther Vandross. In fact, he stated his earliest memory of music was dancing to country music in North Carolina when he was three years old. Russ's first introduction to hip hop came in the form of G-Unit artists. We're talking Eminem, Dr. Dre, and 50 Cent. Today, he claims his biggest artistic influences include Drake, Kanye, J. Cole, DMX, and Tupac, but that's not all. The warm up was bananas to me. Of course. Uh, the marathon by Nipsey was like bananas. Shout out to me. Nipsey for sure. Yeah, so dope. Determined to make it as a rapper and a producer, Russ was still a young teen when he formed a musical collective with a bunch of his friends, including Bugus, Dartland, Paulo, DJ Adam Golden, Mac Ivan, Musa, and John Anthony. The group would be known as Die Men, which stands for Do It Everyday Music or Nothing, and Russ would be the in house producer. While Russ's beats did not have the typical trap style sound you'd expect from an Atlanta based artist, from the beginning he decided to bypass the local scene and built his audience online. To put out his music, his crew would create a website, diamond.com, which is still operational today. A YouTube channel would follow registered on September 19, 2011. Their first video would be a music video for El Jefe, a song by Bugus, which was produced by Russ. Long before Russ's vocals would also be featured on the channel, the music video for Corleone would drop on May 30th, 2012. Time that video was put out, Russ had already dropped his first two mixtapes, Velvet in December of 2011 and Apollo 13 in January of 2012. And the music, it just kept coming in. In fact, by the time Russ got on SoundCloud in October of 2014, he had already released 11 mixtapes. Capitalizing on his ability to rapidly create music, Russ began to pump out a song every week. Within a year, he had amassed well over 5,000 followers on SoundCloud. A year after that, he had amassed over 200,000. At the time of this recording, he has well over 500,000. Needless to say, the labels, they started calling around October of 2015. While Russ says he really could have signed with anyone, he ultimately decided to team up with Columbia. With the backing of a major label, he got to work on his first studio album, There's Really a Wolf. 
The album would be released in May of 2017 and it would rock the Billboard charts hitting number 7 on the Hot 200 and number 4 on the US rap charts. It would also feature 4 singles, 2 of which would be certified. Hey Russ continues to control his own sound, producing his own beats and penning his own lyrics. As for the rest of the story, well we'll have to wait and see because this is before they are famous. My name is Michael McCredden and you guys requested this video so I hope you enjoyed it. I got 2 more suggested videos down below, be sure to check those out. Also hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Boom! Oh and turn on your notifications so that when I do drop a new video, you can watch it right away. Helps out with the channel and what's good for the goose is good for the gander, you know what I mean? Right, okay bye.